Entrance Antiphon. He fed them with the finest wheat and satisfied them with honey from the rock. Missing the chair. Good morning, all, or good evening. Good evening, Father. We're back. <laughs> that's, that's good news. And uh, we've got Father Bill to be here also. That's good. So um, our Mass today is for everyone. It's the Pro Popolo Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, to prepare to celebrate the sacred mysteries, we first ask for God's forgiveness. Lord, you came to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have, Lord, have mercy. mercy. You came to <laughs> reconcile sinners. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord have mercy. Lord have, Lord mercy. have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the, in the highest, highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only, only begotten, begotten Son, Lord, Lord God, God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ, with, with the, the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And let us pray. O God, who in this wonderful sacrament have left us a memorial of your passion, grant us, we pray, so to receive the sacred mysteries of your body and blood that we may always experience in ourselves the fruit of your redemption who lives and reigns with you, with God, the Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, Remember how for 40 years now the Lord, your God, has directed your journey in the desert so as to test by your affliction and find out whether or not it was your intention to keep his commandments. He therefore let you be afflicted with hunger and then fed you with manna a food unknown to you and your fathers, in order to show you that not by bread alone does one live, but by every word that comes forth from the mouth of the Lord. Do not forget the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, that pl place of slavery, who guided you through the vast, terrible desert with its seraph serpents, and scorpions, its parched and waterless ground, who brought forth water for you from the flinty rock and fed you in the desert with manna, a food 
unknown to your fathers. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Glorify the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion. For he has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed your children within you. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He has granted peace in your borders. With the best of wheat he fills you. He sends forth his command to the earth. Swiftly runs his word. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He has proclaimed his word to Jacob. His statutes and his ordinance to Israel. He has not done this for any other nation. His ordinance he has made known to them. Alleluia. Praise, Praise the Lord, Lord, Jerusalem. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the cup of blessing that we bless, is it not a participation in the blood of Christ? The bread that we break, is it not a participation in the body of Christ? Because a loaf of bread is one, we, though many, are one body, for we are all partakers of the one loaf. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Father, and Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The sequence. Loud, O Zion, your salvation. Loud with hymns of exaltation. Christ your King and Shepherd true. Bring him all the praise you know. He is more than you bestow. Never can you reach his due. Special theme for glad thanksgiving is the quickening and the living. Bread today before you set. From his hands of old partaken, as we know by faith unshaken, where the twelve at supper met. Full and clear ring out your chanting. Joy, nor sweetest grace be wanting. From your heart, let praises burst. For today the feast is holden, when the institution olden of that supper was rehearsed. Hear the new law's new oblation, by the new king's revelation, ends the form of ancient rite. Now the new, the old Ephesus, he faces, truth away the shadow chases, light dispels the gloom of night. What he did at supper seated, Christ ordained to be repeated, his memorial never to cease, and his rule for guide, guidance taking, bread and wine we hallow making, thus our sacrifice of peace. This the truth each Christian learns. Bread into his flesh he turns, to his precious blood the wine. Sight was failed, nor thought conceives, but a dauntless faith believes, resting on a power divine. Here beneath these signs are hidden, priceless things to sense forbidden. Signs, not things, are all we see. Blood is poured and flesh is broken. Yet in either wondrous token, Christ entire we know to be. Whoso of this food partakes, does not rend the Lord nor breaks. Christ is whole to all that taste. Thousands are as one receivers, one as thousands of believers, eats of him who cannot waste. Bad and good, the feast are sharing, of what divers dooms preparing, endless death 
or endless life. Life to these, to who, those damnation, see how like participation is with unlike issues rife. When the sacrament is broken, doubt not, but believe tis spoken, that each severed outward token doth the very whole contain. Not the precious gift divides, breaking but the sign betides. Jesus still the same abides, still unbroken does remain. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the living bread that came down from heaven, says the Lord. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you. Jesus said to the Jewish crowds, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever, and the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Jews quarreled among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you do not have life within you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me, and I in him. Just as the living Father sent me, and I have life because of the Father, so also the one who feeds on me will have life because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven. Unlike your ancestors who ate and still died, whoever eats this bread will live forever. The Gospel of the Lord. kind of afraid to go out there with this mic because I know it's acting up already, but I'll give it a try. <laughs> no, it's going to work. <laughs> it's funny, it was the only one that was green. Well, we're so excited here today to be back together as a family. And the key word for our scriptures today is participation. And Paul writes to the Corinthians and asks the question, is not the bread that we share, a participation in the body of Christ? Is not the cup a participation in the blood of Christ? We are called to, to participate in communion with God. God has that special spiritual presence, and he's allowed us to share in that. What a beautiful concept, what a beautiful love he has to share these precious things with us. And during the pandemic, you know, we weren't able to share physically the Lord's sacrifice. We, we stayed connected with the live stream. And that spirit of the live stream was so uh, connecting for us. It was, it was sort of neat to hear Father Kit do the shout out, you know, in the morning as people signed in to the, 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 the participation of, of the live stream, he would shout out, it was beautiful to see, good morning, Gerard, good morning, Marietta, good morning, Rosie, you know, and, and it really kind of drew us together as a faith family. And in those times when we can't come together, there's uh, something that's lost. You know, we feed each other, we help each other, to use the Lord's gifts, we share them together and we use those gifts to uh, get through this life and to help each other. So it was beautiful to overcome that, that distance through live stream and um, it really had a powerful effect. You know, when we receive the sacrament, there's a spiritual element that we need to uh, concentrate on, that we need to realize 
So when we receive the precious body and blood of Jesus, naturally, we, our eyes see and our tongue tastes the accidental, uh, the accidental uh, presence of the bread and the wine. But we're supposed to look beyond that. We're supposed to go beyond that to the spiritual side. And we said the spiritual prayer before we received on live stream. And, you know, sometimes uh, the pandemic that we went through, it, um, it has a purpose. You know, maybe a lot of times we were going through the motions without thinking about it, but it forced us to stop. It forced us to stop and think about what we were doing or realize what we were missing. You know, today we, we come and, and it's got to be so much more uh, uh, fulfilling after an absence of receiving the Eucharist, you know, for us. And how fitting that it, we're called back on the Feast of Corpus Christi, on the Feast of the Body and Blood of Christ. So when Jesus proclaims that he is the living bread come down from heaven, he invites us to partake in that everlasting life that only he can offer. So we decide to come forward and participate by receiving his body and blood. We commit to do all that we can to support the body of Christ. We never wanted to see that spirit die at St. Thomas More's family. So we continue to participate in the best that we could. This real presence is something that a lot of people can't understand. And even in Christ's time, when he talked about these ideas of, of, of feed, feeding off of his flesh, the Jewish people were like shattered with that because even to touch blood was, was a, a huge, uh, terrifying uh, thing. Blood was just, uh, so it was hard for them to, to uh, really accept what he was saying. And they said, you know, we can't accept this. And he didn't uh, try to modify it or change it so that they would stay. He realized that it's up to God to give us the grace to understand, to look beyond the bread that we eat, to look beyond the cup that we share, to see his, his real presence. The essence of what Christ is about is what we're about. The essence. And the essence um, is... If you look up essence in the, in the dictionary, it says it's the, it's the fundamental, the fundamental reason for that. And it's um, not, non-essential is the opposite of accidental or uh, of, of the real presence. Non-essential is something that kind of distracts us. And so we know that we are participating in Christ's mission. And so a lot of times when we come up, and well, let me just say this before I say that. Um, <laughs> in, in the first reading, we see how God oversaw the, the people. He was always looking after them. And Moses, you know, explained that to the people to come to realize, because sometimes they take it for granted and, and they weren't, you know, understanding the real love that God was offering them. And we too sometimes need to stop and reflect. Like as we come up to receive the body and blood of Christ today, we will kind of be reflecting in our mind what it really is all about. And a lot of times this pandemic helped us to stop. You know, it forced us to stop and think about what we're doing. We just can't, you know, go through the, the motions. We were, we were stopped. And so stopping is a good thing. A lot of times when we're hit with a, uh, an affliction or some sort of, uh, of uh, back, uh, backup, um, we turn to God to get us through this but we have to stop and ask him. And so I'll leave you with uh, one thought, one little song. I haven't sang a song in a long time. And uh, even though I had sung this once before back in the old church, I think a lot of you maybe weren't around. 
but we have to remember to stop in the name of love before you break my heart. Stop in the name of love before you break my heart. Think it over. Haven't I been good to you? Think it over. Haven't I been sweet to you? Stop in the name of love. The first time I did that, I was a new deacon in the old building, and uh, Father Bill was going to say the Mass. It was a Saturday, and I wasn't sure if I should really, you know, do it. It was kind of a big step, and as we're going out, Father turns off the lights. He goes, well, let's go rock and roll, <laughs> so that, uh, that answered the question for me. So obviously, we've noticed that we don't, we've lo don't lost our music for this, for this Mass, except for Deacon Tony. And he's provided the laugh track as well. <laughs> I believe in one God, God the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and, and of all Jesus, things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, the only begotten, begotten Son, Son of God, God born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We come now with our needs before God, our Heavenly Father. By offering his body and blood for us, Jesus reconciles the world to the Father. With renewed confidence, we approach our God for what we need. For the church, especially those parishes that are beginning the reopening process, may we all worship under the mystery of the Eucharist with an ever-deepening faith and devotion, we pray to the Lord. For peace, that God will bring forth peace where human efforts have failed we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all Eucharistic ministers, may they grow in faith through their service and be signs of God's presence to others, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all Christians, may they always approach the Eucharist worthily in full communion with the teachings and practices of the church, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who suffer from violence at home and abroad, may they find Soon find peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, especially Dr. Frank Villalobos, that they will know strength in their time of need, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, that they be nourished forever at the banquet feast of heaven, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O God, may every person within the Diocese of Orange come to personally know and love our Lord Jesus Christ. May they grow in maturity as a missionary disciple of Christ, because actively engaged in the full life and mission of the church and joyfully use his or her gifts to share the good news and build up the kingdom of God for the salvation of souls through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Through the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who came to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. To your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. Become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. To your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. Become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant your church, O Lord, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace, whose signs are to be seen in mystery in the offerings we have presented through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For at the Last Supper, when our when his apostles established, establishing for the ages to come the saving mem memorial of the cross, he offered himself to, to you as the unblemished lamb, an acceptable gift of perfect praise, nourishing your faithful by this sacred mystery. You made them holy so that the human race, bounded by one wor world, may be enlightened by one faith and uni united by one bond of charity. And so we approach the table of this wonderful sacrament so that bathed in the sweetness of your grace, we may pass over to the hev heavenly realities that, for, that is foreshadowed. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing or proclaim a new song in adoration as we with all the hosts of angels cry out and without end we acclaim holy 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 holy, holy lord god of hosts heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest you are indeed holy o lord the fount of all holiness May holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat, eat this, this bread, bread and drink, drink this, this cup, cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come, come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, in thanks that you have held us worthy to 
be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Kevin, our Bishop, his brother bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with, all the, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Thomas More, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the, the unity, unity of the of Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit all, all glory and honor, honor is yours, yours forever, forever and ever. ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit, let us offer to one another a sign of Christ's peace. Christ's peace, Father. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Amen. They want you to go to that station in that box. Okay. Yes, Bill. After after mass, we're going to bring out communion after mass. Oh, okay. Yeah.
Surfing, yes, after mass. The others, yeah. I know. We'll get to that. Don't forget your mask. What? Don't forget your mask. Well, not yet. We're not yet ready. <laughs> okay. This is one of those times <laughs> where things are a little confusing because we, for the ministers of the Eucharist, we gave communion. For everybody else, after Mass, we're going to take care of giving out communion. It's about just trying to remember who does what when. So the best thing to do is just look at each other and go, oh yeah, I think that's just worth, no, maybe not. <laughs> we'll, we'll get to that. And so let us pray. Grant, O oh Lord, we pray that we may delight for all eternity in the so share of your divine life, which is the foreshadowing in the present age by your, our reception of your precious body and blood, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. So we have announcements. We still do have, an, no matter what, what's going on, we still have an announcements. So let us be seated. Welcome back to all our parishioners that were able to join us as we started phase one of the reopening of our parish this weekend. Welcome back. The parish is open for public masses. However, the parish offices remain closed to the public until further notice, and the parish will not be open for private prayer or any other ministry or group activity until further notice. Our weekend mass schedule will continue on Saturdays at 4 p.m., Vietnamese bilingual mass, and at 6 p.m. Our Sunday masses are scheduled for 8 a.m., 10 a.m., and 12 p.m., which is the Spanish bilingual mass, and the 5 p.m. Daily Masses will continue at 8 a.m. Monday through Saturday. Please make sure to maintain the proper six feet physical distancing and continue to bring your personal mask and hand sanitizer. As a reminder, Holy Communion will be distributed at the end of Mass instead of during Mass as usual. Please note Bishop Van has extended the special dispensation from attending Mass. Therefore, for those of you that may be 65 or older, or you are feeling ill, or someone in your family may be ill, we strongly suggest that you stay home. We will continue our live stream of Masses for those that choose to participate at home. Father's Day Novena cards are available in the parish lobby for you to pick up, and you can email the names you want to include in the Novenas this year. Any donations for the novena can be dropped off at the parish office or made online. Father Kitt celebrates his 10th anniversary as a priest this weekend. We would love to collect notes and letters from our parishioners to express our congratulations for Father Kitt. Please send or mail or email your letters to the parish office. Please see the bulletin for details. Worldwide Marriage Encounter invites married couples to a virtual marriage enrichment experience to restore, rekindle, and renew your marriage. Due to the current public health crisis, the July weekend retreat has been replaced with this seven-session evening series from June 29th through July 20th with the same great content to make marriage better, to improve communication, and to deepen the intimacy between husbands and wives. To register 
or for questions, please check our bulletin. Join us in our Pray It Forward assistance project. Our Angel Tree hosts, Terry and Kathy McGon, have contacted a number of local charities that are in need of donations of both time and money to help those that have been afflicted during this pandemic. Please see our parish bulletin or website for more specific information on the local organizations that are most in need of our assistance. Now that we have entered this new phase for our parish, we are in need of volunteers to help with the many tasks to keep our parish progressing forward, including ushering and sanitizing the space. If you are feeling called to help out in any way, please contact the parish front office as soon as possible if you wish to participate. Please stay tuned to our parish website, Facebook, page, and bulletin for the most up-to-date information on upcoming parish news and events. Thank you for your attention. Go ahead. Okay. Well, I won't tell you to be seated again since you're all standing, so you're fine. Um, as soon as the final blessing um, happens, you'll go ahead and be seated. We will release you eat um, by section to come up for communion. Um, so just please follow the, the guidance of our ushers. If you're receiving on the tongue, most of you are probably already over in this section. If you're going to receive by the tongue, you need to make your way over here, but just let the usher know so that you're not crossing anybody's path. This is for the tongue. Um, and also, please remember when you are ready to receive, to bring all of your items and belongings with you. We're asking that you come up, receive communion, and then head out and exit the building so we can go ahead and get the building sanitized again. Um, and just say any of your prayers of thanksgiving for, um, for whatever needs you have as you're leaving. Um, we just really appreciate that. And again, you know, this is, this is an amazing weekend. We're really excited that this is happening. I want to personally thank our priests for everything that they've done to prepare for this, and especially all of our volunteers, our Eucharistic ministers, our sacristans, our ushers, um, our Eucharistic ministers, everybody. Um, it, it's a, a group effort, and it's a labor of love. So thank you so much, and we look forward to growing. All right. So we're very ready to begin in just a moment. I believe that there is couple people who choose to still step outside and uh, hopefully we'll get a Eucharistic minister to, is there somebody out there? No. There isn't? No. Okay, then we don't have to worry about that. Okay. Okay. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us bow our heads and seek the Lord's blessing. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you now and forever. Amen. Amen. Let us go in joy and peace. Glorifying God with our lives. St. Michael, the archangel, archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And to thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust into hell, Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.